welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody has been doing well. In today's video, as you can tell from the title already, it's going to be an exciting video. We are going to review and compare between the Everlane Day Heel versus the Everlane Day High Heels. And if you've been on my channel, you know I love high heels. I love comfortable shoes and I love high heels. I like to add a little bit of height to my physique, so I like to wear high heels because I'm short. So for those who are short and are seeking comfortable heels, come along with me on this journey to find the perfect pair of comfortable heels. Okay, so the search for the most comfortable pair of high heels might have been solved since I came across these very, very comfortable, hands down, one of the most comfortable heels that I've ever tried on. And these are the Evelyn day heels and I was browsing around on their website and I was just looking I love shoes and I'm just one of those that gravitates towards the shoe sections whenever I go on any websites <laughs> fashion websites to look at fashion items shoes handbags uh, etc the shoe de department is probably the one that I frequent the most because I just love shoes and handbags anyways so I was browsing through Everlane and I just happened to saw the little advertisement that says this is the most comfortable heels and I said Hmm, most comfortable I'm looking for one so why not just try it out so I picked it up and I picked up three different colors and two of them are the day high heels and the other one is the original the Evelyn day heels so without further ado let's go right into it okay so before I start I just wanted to quickly mention the makeup look that I have on today the palette I use for my eyeshadows are the be perfect carnival uh, palette by Stacey Marie and I've already done a review on this if you'd like to check it out I'll link it up here so you can see and then my lashes are from petite cosmetics and they are the inspire pair like so Everybody has been uh, curious about what I've been wearing for makeup, so I thought I'd just throw that in there for those that are curious. Okay, so for the first pair of heels that we're going to start off with is going to be the original Everlane Day Heel, and these are what they look like. It is in this nice taupe patent color. It's patent leather, and let me put this one down. This is what they look like. Isn't it so adorable? It has this ballet silhouette in the front. So kind of like an almond shape toes, kind of a little bit rounded squares at the toes area. And then it goes into this nice little ballet silhouette. And it has a little scrunch in the back right here. It's the elasticized um, back for extra comfort. And they come in this two inch block heel, so it's very walkable. Block heels are the best because they're the most comfortable and they give you the balance so that it's easy to walk in. So this is what these look like. It has a, so it is 100% Italian leather. I'm not sure which Italian leather they refer to, but I'm thinking this is cow high leather. So one of the reasons that makes these shoes so comfortable is not just the silhouette of the toe box right here but also because it has really nice cushioning a nice cushion for bed is key to making your feet feel relaxed and comfortable all day so these has really really nice cushioning in the foot bed I really appreciate that and they are not flexible however I feel like the leather is very nice and the patent leather is so so pretty when you wear it on the feet so this is what the day heel looks like that I I picked up and moving on to the next pair is going to be the Everlane Day High Heels. So the difference between the Everlane Day High Heels is that the heels are a little bit higher than the original one. It is 2.75 inches instead of just two inches so it is just slightly higher and it has the same silhouette as the other one this one i picked up in a original leather so it has no patent leather it's just original leather it is in the color called ivy which is a nice deep green color i am so so in love with this color i feel like for the fall and the winter season this is the perfect color for a lot of your wardrobe a lot of the fall colors it goes well with it 
So these has the same construction and the same silhouette as the original day heel. They are in a ballet silhouette with that almond square toe box in the front. And it also has the nice little foot cushion footbed on the inside in a light lined leather, um, which I'm kind of afraid because it is lightly lined. I'm afraid that it's going to get really dirty when, once I wear them and once I break them in and wet starts to develop it might get a little dirty in there um, so I'm a little bit skeptical skeptical about the inside um, color scheme but nevertheless it's very nice it has the nice elasticized um, in the back right here for extra comfort it has this little cute little tap in the back also to help you pull these shoes up um, around your feet and then it just has the higher block heels like I said so basically this is what the day high heels look like and then I also picked up the day high heels in the color called bone it's more of an ivory color and it is the day high heels I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted the bone color or the ivy color however once I got them I think I'm gonna keep both um, I have been wearing this one around already so I can't return them um, so I'm gonna keep this one but then the ivy one I think I like that one too so um, might as well just go to keep both of them uh, but yes yeah, so those are the two day high heels that I picked up the ivy color and then the bone color and then the day heels are the taupe color okay so let's compare the comfort between the two heels so for me I love the comfort of the day heel I do think that it is comfortable the day high heels is also very comfortable it's not less comfortable than the original one however because of the higher heels I feel like we're tilting a little bit more when we're walking so in turn the feet might swell a little bit more than um, the straighter um, silhouette here for the heels so it might be that for the day high heels your feet might swell a little bit more so the size might you might have to go up one whole size just to make sure that the feet is comfortable all day I do feel the comfort is great in both of these I didn't have any problems with walking around in the bone color um, this color um, high heels and I feel like it was very very comfortable to wear and almost an all-day heel is no problem and the thing that separates the patent leather from the regular leather is that the regular leather tends to be more stretchy it is softer more pliable so in the toe box here if my feet tend to swell at the end of the day it tends to stretch out and it's a little bit more forgiving on the feet so I feel like it's more comfortable versus is with the um, patent leather it's more strict um, it's more confining so when my feet swells um, it tends to not stretch out as much so at the end of the day it might be a little just a tiny bit uncomfortable because of that but that problem can be solved like I said if you go up half or even a whole size bigger the reason I'm saying a whole size bigger is because I feel like the elasticize in the back right here is gonna help your feet stay inside so even if it is just a little bit um, larger than than your normal size um, you are not going to slip out of it as much because this is a really nice and secure fit to the feet okay, so before I forget another note on the comfort level of these shoes is that right out of the box they are ready to wear no need to break in no blisters because this elasticized back right here is so so comfortable it's very different from the Tory Burch I don't know if you remember the Tory Burch Riva flats I got those um, a couple of years back and the elasticized right back here I don't know if it's because it was so tight but sometimes it pulls onto the back of the heels and it does feel a little bit of pain when you're walking in them but these are totally different the elasticized is very comfortable in the back so you don't feel like it's pulling onto your feet and it's 
a nice grab. It's not loose, but it is not tight, tight where you feel uncomfortable in them. So I just wanted to make a note on that. Okay, so let's go over the pros and the cons of the day heel. So the day heel pros, very comfortable, 10 out of 10. Um, and I also have to say that the heels, perfect height, 10 out of 10. I also think that the pricing is good. Um, the cons for the day heel is that don't get it in a patent leather because I feel like the patent leather is nice. However, it's a little bit constricting. So you want the maximum comfort, go for the original cowhide leather um, or the suede. Um, so that's really not a con, but it probably is when you're trying to determine comfort wise. Um, so those are the only thing that I don't like about the shoe is the patent leather is a little bit constricting. Overall, I do feel it's worth it. I definitely recommend. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and the cons of the day high heels. So for the day high heels, the pros is that these leathers the regular cowhide leather is so, so comfortable. I love them. They stretch, they are very pliable, they're so comfortable and smooth like butter on the feet. And I also love the cushioning of the footbed, but that goes for both shoes. They have nice cushioning. The heels, I do feel like it's very nice, even though it's higher than the original day heel, it is still very comfortable. I don't see a big difference. Okay, so for the cons of the high heels, it doesn't really have any cons, um, that's just my opinion, but I do feel that the original cowhide leather is very, very nice. However, I do know that it's going to get ruined a lot faster than if it was patent leather. Um, I do know that because I'm very rough on my feet and I do wear my shoes through all terrain, so I know for sure that I need to get a leather treatment um, spray so that I can spray and protect the heels so that I can last longer. And that is definitely one of the reasons that I feel that these shoes will get ruined a little bit more um, faster than the patent leather. However, I just love how comfortable they are. I wouldn't trade these for patents anytime soon. So definitely recommend the original cow leather or the suede, but I feel like the suede will even get um, more dirty. However, they might be more comfortable. Hmm, I don't know. I'll think about it. Alright guys, so that is my little review and comparison between the Everlane Day Heel versus the Everlane Day High Heels so that I can give you a little bit more information so if you're interested in these shoes, you can see which one would fit you the best, what are the pros of them and what are the cons of them so that you can make the wise decision in investing in the perfect pair of comfortable high heels for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do so so that we can stay in touch and see you in the next video. Bye!